This is what I have come up with. I think really this is where it can get quite expensive, but... Hi guys, this is Martin, aka Martin the Vlogger, and today we're gonna work on the beast, probably the most recognizable BRP Canem Spider F3S in the world. And more precisely, we will talk about this Akrapovic exhaust. After four years of using and about 60,000 kilometers, have a look. This is the carbon part and it's all burned plus the carbon, it's no shiny anymore. And this part, well, you will see it better, but it used to be nice black matte, and it's now something like what, like gray, something like that. So we'll try to fix it with using all of these. I will tell it to you what I have used in a, or what we'll be using in a minute. Uh, just a quick note for everyone. Uh, I'm no technician, I'm not skilled dude, whatever. Who knows me, uh, you know that I like to play around with the bike. Who don't know me, well, actually in my last video, in the winterization, when I told you how to properly store motorbikes and cars, I have kindly asked you if you have any top tips, how I can fix that kind of damage, or it's not really damage, but more of a, of a look problem of the exhaust. Uh, you have shared with me many tips and thank you very much for that and super big thanks to my Paul Andy from Down and Under uh, You have shared with me so many good tips and thank you very much for offering that you will actually fix the exhaust if it goes wrong Actually Andy didn't promise me anything. I just asked him if he can do it. He sent me smiley face back I think it's a done deal, right? In case you would like to find out a little bit more about the beast, about the crazy travelings I do, about the upgrades, about the crazy riding, subscribe to my channel and have the notifications on because apart from these kind of videos, we'll be doing in the next episodes how to properly fix or basically clean the k and filter. And also we'll be doing something like this. It's a worthless cleaning. Uh, and I'll show you how you can clean your bike or car in the garage without using water and not scratching any color. So guys, enough of this, let's get started. First thing, we will remove the exhaust. Of course, we'll be not fixing it on the bike. It's a very easy job, just one screw right over there. And then we will remove any part that is possible to be removed from the main exhaust, like this carbon over here this badge, carbon over there, or, and whatever it's gonna be possible to be removed. My top tip, always keep your toolbox ready in shape and place your items back when they're supposed to be. Actually, my question here is, are you the same as I am? I have lost so many items because of me moving to the studio, because of the different projects and because of me being lazy. And it cost me already several hundreds of euros just to you know, replace it and fill it back, you know? By the way, guys, uh, this is what happens uh, when you ask your girlfriend to buy you something to protect your table. <laughs> of course, I owe you uh, what you will need for the job or what I have bought. So this is black matte heat resistant color in a spray. This is clear coat. We will use it for, for carbon part. Uh, it's transparent and should be like shiny. Uh, petrol cleaner, mole cleaner, duct tape, the protective one, uh, in order to cover some parts, uh, some foam. Uh, this is sending fleece. We have more stuff for sending. We'll be doing water sending. So this is sending paper, 600 and 1000. And we have these fabrics, the old one and new one. And I think this should do the job. Do 
this then we got a tiny trouble these are the rivet screws and I really don't want to repair this carbon on the exhaust so I will try to get rid of them do you want to hear true true and nothing but the true I haven't ever removed any rivet screw from anything I even don't know like how to do it like I didn't know like 30 minutes ago but I watched a couple of YouTube videos and this is what I have come up with Andy you still watching I think really this is where it can get quite expensive but Who's the man now, huh? I mean, would any of you take this and drill a hole into your $1,200 worth of exhaust? Okay, on to the next one. So, surprise, surprise, guys. So far, no damage, and we have one bolt left, one rivet bolt left, and uh, yeah, we have removed quite a carbon already. And I know I'm not using proper tools, but you know what? I don't care. Uh, all that matters is if the job is done. And the job is almost done. So now let's remove the last one. The last one is always the most difficult one. And then let's get to the cleaning and wet sanding. All right, so obviously this part, it's the worst part. Uh, it is damaged around the pipes, like it's really burnt. And I will try to give it a more clean and degrease it with this VD40. Uh, have a look here. Uh, it has even some kind of another different type of burn here. And this is, this is all bad, hopefully you can see it. So that's really not nice. Uh, we will also focus on, on this part, uh, it's the like close to the, to the uh, cat delete. Uh, again, maybe you think it doesn't look that bad, but for me it does, because if you look at this part right over here, it's where the badge was sitting. In case you have a look at this part, that's actually how I want the remaining part of carbon look, because this was not affected by the sun. This is all shiny and the remaining parts are like really like faded and, and damaged. So uh, I'll give a more clean with the VD40 and then we'll start wet sanding. Office plankton hands, guys. They were not built for such a chemicals. This is the middle of the video of Akrapovich restoration. And actually I have two questions for you. First, I would like to find out what you think about this new project that we are working on as an MTV manufacturing. And second, I would like to hear your opinion and hear your thoughts. How should I call this new product of MTV manufacturing? It will be available in December. And uh, have a look. This is actually a minimalistic look or turbine style of the look of the key box cover. This is of course how it looks. And I know BRP needs to put these ugly signs there because of the safety and regulations, but I'm tired of it. So we have come up with this and yeah, tell me what do you think about it? And also tell me how it should be called. Whoever comes with the best name, you will be rewarded and I will send you the new product and you will actually have it as a very first guy in the world. I will not even use it as a first, you will be the first one.
Actually, for more cool things like this, visit martinthevlogger.com. There is a forum, and in the forum, there are challenges. And you can win amazing prizes. And first challenge, it's coming on December the 1st. And you can win cool t-shirt like this. Write it like you saw it. So stay tuned, and now, let's move on with the project. All right, so this is the 600th fleece. This is 1000 on paper. This is 600 on paper. I will be using a mix of these. We'll be doing wet sanding. And this part, as I said, is the, the mostly damaged one. And how it should work is that this carbon or air carbon has a thin clear coat. And then clear, that clear coat, it's being sandpapered. Uh, yeah, so this, that's something I will try to do on this part because that's the part from inside of the bike so nobody sees it and I, I would like to just test it there. I will try to remove these scratches for that they are from rocks or whatever, um, that's fine. And we will do all this burning. However, uh, if there was a clear coat before, I don't know if you can really see it, um, but here it's all carbon. There is nothing left for the whatever clear coat, if there was a clear coat, it's not there anymore. So that's gonna be, I don't know if I will be really touching it because sandpapering carbon, you will just damage it. So I'm not sure about that, but remaining parts should be all fine. Okay, I'm cheating a little here because I already did uh, wet sanding and applying of a clear coat right over here. And why I did it is just because I wanted to give it a try. And this part, I, I really, I can't start with it because it's really, like it's the worst part. So what we will do next, I will, I will try to do something with this one and have a look, ha have, a, have a look on this comparison. Uh, it's just, it's just different ball game, you know? So that's something what we want to achieve with this part as well. So sorry to, not to be honest, really. Okay, so with wet sanding, the best thing is to have everything as wet as possible. So this is wet, this is wet, and basically you just go equally around everything, trying to remove the, the clear coat and not to go too far in order to, you know, get to the carbon itself. You can, when you go with your hands, you should feel that it's, it's smooth. It's like almost like when you're doing waxing. It's like the carbon on the, on the water. Here it is not, but here it is nice and smooth. So this will require some more work. So yeah, let's just keep going. Okay, so when, when the job is done, wet sanding is done, it's all dry. Uh, I will apply one more time the, the VD40 just to make sure there is no grease, no dirt whatsoever, so we can apply the clear coat. Now, what you are basically seeing, and don't be surprised, it looks like nowhere nearby shiny, nowhere nearby nice, but after the clear coat will be applied several times, it will look absolutely amazing. Welcome to my clear coating station. This is a rack for clothes and I'm using duct tape and several hooks in order to, you know, to have it, this piece of carbon just sitting or, or you know, laying like this. Um, this look, it's something that we're trying to achieve with the, with the clear coating. This has already two layers, but it's not finished. It's nowhere nearby to a finish. We will still need to polish it and probably I will apply one or two more layers. Uh, after we will do the, the clear coating thing, I will let it sit for 20 minutes and this one, um, it's heat of course, uh, it can cope up with up to 600 degrees, but for a permanent kind of, you know, characteristics, uh, I will either need to run it um, on exhaust and achieve 150 degrees or I will put it into an oven because I have just small parts, so it should be all fine.
still a lot of things to do, but uh, to the last part uh, is the most difficult one. And I want you to, to focus. Let, let me show it to you like this. You know, this is, do you see it like this burnt part? That's what we're trying to remove. That's what we're trying to remove here. And it's kind of really like yellowish. So that should be all gone. And as I said, like, I'm not really sure about this part because the coating, it's all gone and I don't want to, rather I'll keep it a little bit damaged than to really damage the carbon itself, but we will see. Guys, this is it from the part one of the restoration of the Akrapovich exhaust. Uh, two parts, two carbon parts are almost ready, ready to be polished, but I still need to cook them a little bit in the oven. Uh, this part still needs some work, but I will manage it. In a part two, you will definitely see how I will restore uh, this black meth. And um, <laughs> we need to put back the ribbit screws. So yeah, I bought some pistol or whatever. Yeah, so we'll be doing that. So dummy in the work part two coming shortly. If the video is ready, the link or basically you will see it pop up at the end of this video. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of videos, Hit the like if you don't hit the dislike, it's up to you. And most importantly, remember, no matter what you do, always have fun.